Hey hello everyone, Andrea Kipidemus here. I decided to try a little different recording style, mostly not grinding as much on screen. I, um, as you can see, I've expanded the platform quite a bit. It's huge now. Move the melon plants over here. Um, expand the grassy area a little bit. A lot of, just, a lot of places entirely walled off so I can't fall off, and I was just working here when suddenly I heard a chicken. Where'd you go? I know you're here. Chicken. Where did that chicken end up? I can hear the chicken. Oh, there he is. Or she. It. Okay. Fun. I had a chicken spawned in. We spawned in enough eggs? Are you gonna spawn in eggs, buddy? Well, anyways, I'm clearing out. I've decided I'm improving our farm. The planter's in place. It doesn't have power yet. I'm working on sort of trying to clear as much of this bottom area out as I can without disrupting the garden, the farm. I can't reach. Yeah, gonna run wires through this area. See, there's the planter. Gonna run power conduits probably eventually down and through there when I get to it. Um, they both have range upgrades, so they both overlap the exact same area, which is awesome. Um. Can I plant from here? Sweet. Nope. I have to be up top. Okay. Oop. Well, the space is in. Because he's going to need a... Um... Whoa. Red, yellow, green is to the right. Is it? No. Top. There we go. Red, yellow, green, white, cyan, blue, purple, black. So he's going to kind of try to like plant certain things in certain zones. I'm not really sure how the radius increase is going to affect it. I'd love to run some conduits to it as soon as I can. Um. Oh wow, I probably have enough redstone now. Let's do that real fast. been having the sifter work full time making dust for us. Is that gonna be enough? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna need one more batch of these. Oops. Invar, we're out of Invar. Blast. Um. Nope. 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 Oh, parsnip seeds. How we put those to work? Oh, what do we have in here? Five Invar. Might be enough. Let's see, each invar is... Oops. It's one invar per batch, right? Oh, and we're out of redstone now. Thank you, Rado Packager, for being a little bit on the derp side. Invar. Ah. 
There we go. Um, I don't know if I want to make this super permanent spot because... I eventually, am if I up ever upgrade these, which I'm guessing I probably will, Yep, it is really ugly. I know. Okay. Okay, now this thing should automatically plant in its radius places it can plant. I hope. I'm gonna test it out real fast, see what it does. Okay, buddy. Do stuff. Oh crap, where is it planting it? No, I don't want you to plant here. Okay. Oh, no, filter. Oh, no, I'm looking at it the wrong way. Filter. Don't plant there. It's in this red region. Assuming this was a 3x3, three three, now it's extended by 3, so 1, 2, 3, it's double in size, triple in size. I'd had a, I'll be playing around with it probably. But it should be automatically replanting seeds now. I just have to fill it up with seeds. Ooh, and give it another word too. How's that for cool? Our farm is now a little more automated. We don't have... Don't have the dirt to make it bigger, though. Okay, well. I think I'd better rec cut recording here. Get back to grinding, and I'll s probably talk with you guys soon. Um, oh. Oops. Yay, the server back worked this time. It didn't work last time. But super backups are good. Just in case something really weird happens and I can't load the game, I'm gonna want to be able to call up a, a save file. Just kind of stuck there. Okay. Might as well finish. Well, can't. Oh. Oh, uh, well, see you guys. Bye. So just another really fast update. I used our scoop up. Broke open some hives, got tons of princesses, but most importantly, I got a valiant princess. And now she's doing her thing. She made us some sugar. I'm hoping that I get some more valiant drones out of this. Um, it's really, really important not to lose something like valiant, because that's one of the base... the base type of bees. It's one of the basic bees, like tropical. There's no way to just get it. Actually. And since there's no way to get it, get it, I have to make sure that I preserve it as well as I can. So yeah. Yeah. Bees. Bees, bees.
see. Are there any quests that I can claim rewards for? Doesn't look like it. Gosh, this one looks insane. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we've we make made progress. But see, look how many quests there are to do still. I've completed 33 out of 131, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more quests. Okay, see ya. Hey, Lover, when I'm back. Um, I've been kinda busy you know, refining some ore, gathering some iron. I decided I needed another pulverizer. You know, why not? Why not? I mean, if you have something that you like, you should get more of it, right? The question is, is can our power system sustain this kind of energy? The answer looks like it might be no. Yeah, that tapped, opening that up tapped him out. Hmm, let's see. Currently drawing about 80... 100 RF per tick. Well, it looks like I might not be able to sustain a lot of power like that. How are we using that? Oh, this guy's running. He runs 40, so two of them alone are just gonna tap the system, probably. Lava wise, it kind of bugs me a little bit that the fluid ducts don't seem to be pulling equally from here. Oops, excuse me. Okay, let's do a quick test. What happens if I put in some cobble? Oh, also, I decided to do a little bit with bees. I bred together a Valiant and a, another type, a Cultivated. Oh, I was hoping that I would get a um, an Excited Bee, but it doesn't look like I did. And I don't, can't analyze those yet because I haven't gotten around to actually making the analyzer. Hmm. 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 It actually is like a machine for letting bees live. Because how kind of bees work is you put in a queen and a drone. You can actually put frames in here to make them work better. Because apiary is really bad for them, apparently. And then they fly out. And they actually need specific flowers. So that's why this flower is planted here. If I had more dirt nearby, they would actually, like, pollinate and spread the flowers. Which would be really cool. They also do the same, something similar with trees and stuff. I've never delved into forestry trees, so... I don't know. Let's check in our power system, see how it's doing. Oh, you're done. Hey, chicken. Hmm. Still seems to be working like a champ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This is really kind of annoying. Are either of them running out a lot of those? Question. Nope, they're both supplied. I guess the thing about me that bothers me is it's probably it's not like optimal totally producing lava, I think. Actually no, they both seem to be working at the same rate. Well, that's fine. Automated farm with melons. I can't remember if I showed that or not. My um oh the chicken. Whenever the chicken lays eggs, the vacuum hopper picks it up automatically. Trying to get a second chicken. Haven't had much luck. Not yet, at least. Because two chickens would mean that I can do some breeding. 
I could breed them and start getting more chickens. Of course, that would probably mean the chickens would start to get out of control, wouldn't it? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Oh, he's only going at 32? Are you still running? Yeah, you are. Hmm. You see both? Oh, 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 I got too close to the sludge boiler. Dang it. Oh, I hate that thing so much. Did it hurt you, chicken? Okay, the chicken's out of range, thankfully. Gosh. Every time that thing hits me, I take a big hit of food and health wise. I can't afford to be taking those kind of hits. Anyways, maybe I should just stop hopping up. Hopping up top there. Because every time I do that, that's when I run into problems. Anyways, that was all I had. I made the second polarizer. I'm not quite sure what I want to do next. Maybe I'll try to finish this. Not quite sure. Uh, I could try, try blaze, or I could try going for chicken and squids. I already have chickens. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I don't have cows, I can't do that. I don't have a ridiculous amount of redstone, can't do that. Yeah, I think analyzing the results might be the next one that I do. Or maybe I'll make some precision export import buses. Precision import bus would be cool, then I could pull stuff out of the chest. Be interesting. I could pull stuff out of the chest so it doesn't end up, you know, like, uh, ending up getting packaged. Oops. Like this. A redstone block. A little lapis blocks aren't so bad. Oh, quartz. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can uncraft those. Okay. That's my biggest concern, is not being able to uncraft them. But for the most part, I can, so that's not such a big deal. Right now. Oh, yeah. Precision import bus. Bam. Right on top of that. Mmm. That would do it. Or maybe I should build an RF furnace. I think they work a lot faster than regular furnaces. Anyways, that's what I was saying. This is Andrew AKB Udemus, and I'm going to leave you guys. Hello everyone, Andrew AKB Udemus here, coming back at ya! Uh, with this is the centrifuge! Ta -da! I, didn't, I didn't put this on camera, I guess. But how this thing works is you just put in the items you want to process. In this case, I think honeycombs are one of the things primarily processes, and we get honey drops and beeswax that come on out. And see, beeswax and honey drops. We need these honey drops to run. We are going to go ahead and accomplish a few quests here real fast. I haven't been recording very much, but I have been grinding quite a bit. <laughs> As always, it's the grind. Diamonds. I think we need to make a beelizer and a... Yeah. A beelizer and a treelizer were the two items that we were tasked with creating in one of our quests. See, each of these combs has something different that they can make. See, this can make silky propolis, which we can use to send letters. Or we can swing out to make silk and propolis. What's this used for? Oh, it's another form of string, I guess. Or you can make unlit candles with it in the carpenter. Interesting. And this is used to make slime. Or to make a butamus peat. Interesting, okay. Are you done yet? There we go, Bealizer. Bealizer, Bealizer. That's a really bad song, why am I singing it? Treealizer. Nice. This will let me analyze bees, which you might think, hey, why do we want to analyze bees? Well, you see, I uh, bred together a cultivated bee and a uh, valiant bee in hopes that I would get a mutation uh, called a... Uh, what was
was I looking for? An excited bee. Okay, tree laser is done. Do I have the hammer on me? I don't. Okay. I'm gonna go grab the hammer and take off the power. Anyways. Whoa, what just happened? Where did it go? Okay. Now, what was I saying? Yeah, these things constantly draw power. So I want to sort of disconnect them from their power source so they don't keep drawing power. That means that he's going to slowly, yeah, kind of slowly die. That's fine, though. And... Yeah. Cocoa beans came out of that one. Okay. We're going to also cut you off from your supply. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to drain power that we don't really need. Yeah. I can't even remember what I was saying. I feel so silly now. Anyways, I bred the two together, the cultivated and valiant, and there's a chance for a mutation, but there's no way to know without analyzing them if they actually got that mutation or not. Uh, there's tons of different properties that bees have. Let's see, analyzing the results. Okay. Crafting task. Okay, consume task. So we have to turn in a honey drop, a tree lizer, and a bee lizer, and we'll get back. So forest things, and we can either get a tropical hive or a reward back. Manual submit. Sweet. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to think which one we want. I don't know if we have any. We don't have to claim it right away. That's nice. Let's go see if we have any tropical drones. Okay, we do. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Okay, I think we're probably good picking the bag. Do -do 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 -do. And we get back our analyzers. And we get the reward bag. Oh, a greater reward bag. Hopefully, it's actually something worthwhile. Um. Okay. Let's open the bag. Lettuce seeds. Okay. Oh, I forgot to say, see what it. If it was a good one or not. Anyways, okay. So, how we use the bealizer is we put in some honey and then we put in what we want to examine. So, see if you cultivated Valiant. Okay. We see different things. Diurnal, nocturnal, no, cave, yes. So she can work in caves. Interesting. Oh, and there's all, see how many different possible mutations there are? These are like, you combine it with this and you can get this. Yeah. Authority Sangir, fast working, thinks anything but opera is beneath it. Interesting. And I can hold down shift and it'll show me some of the basic properties. Let's see. He's also a cultivated valiant. A cultivated valiant hybrid. Okay. Also a cultivated valiant hybrid. With the properties. Oh, this one didn't get the properties, so he, I think, is inferior, kind of. Yeah. Oh, they're at least not active. They're still present, though. So, if I breed these two together, there is a definite chance. Long life, shortest life. Oh yeah, they're oldest to mix. Okay. Anyways, it will remember, even if I put them here in this chest, what their um, thingamajiggy genes were. But I actually want to breed two of these together doesn't really matter which two, because they're all kind of the same right now. Okay. We'll put them in there. It's night time, so they won't actually work. So, we'll go to sleep, so they'll work. And then we'll look to see what other quests we can do. Yes, puppy. That quest was relatively simple. See, now they are working. Okay. Breeding and reproduction. To start bee breeding... Yes, 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 yes. This is a drone three will show up. This is a hybrid. You want to get pure common bees. Okay, they're telling us how to get common bees, and we have to turn in a honeycomb. 
What is this? Bee breeding is a scary science according to some lucky for you. The jaded one has agreed to add some guidance. Bees can be mutated in apiaries or alviaries or in a mutatron. When beating breeze in an apiary or alviary, you need to have the correct flower in the area for the bees to do their work. If you place a drop of honey in the top slot of the beelizer, and an unscanned bee in the next slot, it will tell you what genes the bee has, including what flower it wants. Brief explanation. Holding shift while mousing over a scanned bee will tell you what flower they want to make sure that the flower is near the apiary. Like any other gene, you can pull the flower gene off of one bee and place it on another one by using Gendistry or extra bees. In this manner, you can get another bees to want regular flowers. Okay. We're not going to get into Gendistry quite yet. And we're not going to get any honeycombs for the moment. Genetic manipulation, too. Another method for manipulating genetics of bees is extra bees. These machines require less power than their Gendistry counterparts, but require bee DNA which can be created in either Gendistry or extra bees. So we have to make these various items. Oh, uh, I forget exactly what these will do. This one, I think, one of these will extract DNA from a... Oh, and we get alveolary friends, which are really, really nice. Bee automation. Bees can be moved in and out of apiaries with item ducks. Once you get to the point of mass destruction, you may want better production. Industrial apiaries are customized to make your bees happy. They require RF power. Cool, so this is the way we can automate them. Um, alvearies. Traditional beekeeping uses massive multi blocks called alvearies. Different blocks. Yeah, this is like a giant. See, this is an apiary. It's a tiny little block. Alvearies are huge, and they take a long time to put together. They're very complicated. Let's see, frame housing, we have to make an alveary block, and we have to get into the thermionic fabricator, which is a really weird block. We have to make impregnated casings, which is the carpenter with the seed oil, scented panelings, which we make out of... We have to get royal jelly, and I have no idea where royal jelly... Oh, imperial. We have to get Imperial Bees to get Royal Jelly. Uh, and then Empty Serum, this is for extra bees. I don't know if we use this to make... Okay, Replicator Inoculator. Yeah. I forget, but one of them will extract genes, the other one will, like, improve the quality, the other one improves, like, how many uses there are, or something or other. Yeah. Anyways. Um... I'm going to activate the high oven again, because we have enough resources to create the rest of the steel and finish that quest. We're going to pull out... I made a bunch of extra charcoal. It's been a long time since I've chopped down a tree, so I'm probably going to start running low. Okay. We're going to turn this baby on. It'll heat up. It'll take a long time. Probably won't see that finish. Anyways, the other quest I wanted to finish was related to those. It is... Oh, what am I doing? Why am I looking here? Where is it? Steel-powered flight. Open. The deep tank. Yeah. I just had to make a deep tank controller. I already have all the ingredients here. A scorched brick. Lapis. Deep tank controller. Boom. Goes that. Hopefully... Yep. Okay. Claim reward. The deep tank. Unlocks two quests elsewhere. I wonder what quest it unlocked. What does that say? Steel powered flights, 37% complete. Interesting. Okay. I forget what we have to do. Oh yeah, we have to make spawn. We have to make red net cables, which cost a lot of redstone. Oh wait, what were the rewards for that one? Show me that again. A high temperature furnace generator. Heated redstone or a culinary. This one will make energy off of food. This one uses redstone on lava, and I'm not entirely sure what the high temperature furnace generator does. It might be the one that it will generate power if it is near lava, which is incredibly awesome. Yeah, this thing takes a long time. Didn't it have to get up to like 2000 plus or something ridiculous like that? Store of hearts. Another Darkwood sapling. Unexcited, yay. I'm not sure if those even ended up. Is this where I'm storing junk? Okay. They might not be junk, I might actually need them at some point. 
Who knows? Okay. Let's see, were there any other ones that I could just straight up complete? Yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen any cows show up yet. Already a quarter of the way done. So four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's one that's missing there. Your wizard, Steve. Yeah, I might get to that one. Oh, there's a blood magic route and a thumbcraft route. Oh my goodness, are they really gonna require me to make one of those? Um. Dang, I think if I th if that is what I think it is. Oh goodness. It's some kind of staff. Staff core of the primal. That might be what it is. Is that what it was? I think that's what it was. Okay. Okay, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to worry about other things. Like creating precision buses. And yeah. There's a lot of quests in this one. And a lot of quests in this one. You need all sorts of random liquids. I don't even recognize what I have. This is, I think, glowstone. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah. Anyways, well, I think that's all the quests I could complete right away, so it's gonna be a l I'm gonna go back to grinding, you know, doing things like picking the plants, double-checking the farm results, making more dirt, making the farm even bigger. I have a feeling we're gonna really want a big farm. And dirt doesn't exactly... well, no, it does grow trees in this game, doesn't it? See, grows on trees, and then is made in barrels? Yeah, I don't know how that works. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time I record. Bye!